So it's nearly in bulk and my room is a state, as you can see. My altar is untouched since Samhain. I need to sort it. my altar has remained untouched since Samhain. I put an ancestor altar up here with pictures of my dad and my dad's side of the family. I put pictures of the dogs I'd loved over my years. I've got a weaver's uh, card icon down there. The rest of the room is also a state. <sighs> and in bulk is just around the corner. I am really desperate to get this room clean and fresh and cleared this set up again ready for a new start and to celebrate the coming of spring and Bridget who is one of the deities I work with and who I have been having quite a journey with along with the Morrigan recently so yeah this really needs a change my room needs a clean I'm not panning around it's a mess so let's get going let's get ready for in bulk in just some really simple simple ways this needs to be simplified okay guys let's get going okay so here is a really simple for me altar i think that's part of in bulk is to kind of clear space to clear space for the new um i really felt the need for it so I've got my um, goddess and god candle, so representing the journey of the sun throughout the year and the wheel of the year and its relation to the moon. So I've tried to represent both female and male energy all the time on the altar. Um, I have, I've got the single butterfly now up there, I took all the others off, just to always remind me about transformation and constant turning of circles which the wheel of the year is part of i've got my bridget swan there and a little fairy up there i always like to keep some reference to the fairies on my altar because they have been a big part of mine and my kids lives and um there was a wind chime up here which i've taken down but i didn't want i didn't want to completely strip fairies off the altar just because you don't mess, if you know what I mean. Um, it, they're both sitting on my Wolf Moon watercolour painting, which I've put in a frame. So that was the January full moon that we had a few days ago. So for the energy around this time of year, I've put that painting up. And then we have got white feathers in a, and a couple of swans to represent Bridget as well. There's one feather there with a bit of black edging onto white because it was the Morrigan that brought Bridget to me and I wanted to acknowledge that. The Morrigan is always on my altar. The Morrigan is my main deity that I work with. She is, um, oh, I need to talk about my relationship with the Morrigan at some point. Um, but last year she brought Bridget to me and it's taken me well a year to figure out why and I've had some real revelations this year as to why so that's for another that is for another video I keep saying that every time I mention deity it's just such a convoluted complex story that means so much to me it's hard to share got the feather candle at the back to represent um, swans and I suppose also uh, ravens as well. Uh, white crystals just to represent that clean slate, that opening up of energy, welcoming the spring back in. I've got a pale yellow vase ready to take some 
the signs of spring when I get out into the garden when it stops pouring with rain. A single white flower. And this is a Bridget, it's actually a greeting card that I ordered off eBay. If I can find the link for the shop, I will put the link in. I'm trying to get it so that my light isn't reflected. I think you can just about see it. But I love it. It, was, it wasn't expensive at all and I just framed it up. Normally that's on my lounge wall, but it needed to be on my main altar um, for in bulk. And if we come back, you can see the shelves underneath where I have a few books stored. I have um, Bibliomancy words I've cut out of secondhand books in there. Uh, I've got an extra swan and just bits and pieces, spare candles, odds and ends that I use for altars are stored there. So that's all been opened up and cleared. cleared. I've still got my my space down here for meditating with the weavers oracle because that's ongoing throughout the year so and there's somewhere for matches so for fire safety and there's some dirt out the garden there which i'm going to top up with salt and and just refresh that that's for incense sticks to sit in but you know indoor altars we've got to be safe all the time so it's incredibly simple it's really cleared. I feel like I can breathe again. I love the fact that I've got art on there. I love the fact it's so simple. I love the fact it feels clean. And um, I, I might leave it at that. There is something that I need to do, which involves the Morrigan and Bridget, which will involve some artwork. But I may not have time to add this to the video. If not, that will come at a later date. But for now, guys, that's where I've got to um, for in bulk. And I just can't wait. I can't wait for this change of energy. I can feel it already. And um, yeah, I love it. I can see something that needs to go on. Hang on. You might be able to hear it. That's my crystal bell. I love clearing energy before ritual with this bell it was only a couple of pounds in a charity shop it's beautiful heavy crystal glass and it's got a beautiful sound and you can find them so easily in charity shops when we can access them that is so there we go it feels nice